The investigation of the Nord Stream explosions is a high global priority. By Jeffrey D. Sachs, People's Daily. Published, February 27, 2023. On February 21, the UN Security Council held a public meeting on the Nord Stream pipeline destruction and its follow-up investigation. I made a video speech at the meeting. The destruction of the Nord Stream pipelines on September 26, 2022, constitutes an act of international terrorism, and represents a threat to the peace. It is the responsibility of the UN Security Council to take up the question of who might have carried out the act, in order to bring the perpetrator to international justice, to pursue compensation for the damaged parties, and to prevent future such actions. The consequences of the destruction of Nord Stream 2 are enormous. They include not only the vast economic losses related to the pipelines themselves, but also the heightened threat to the transboundary infrastructure of all kinds, submarine internet cables, international pipelines for gas and hydrogen, transboundary power transmission, offshore wind farms, and more. The global transformation to green energy will require considerable transboundary infrastructure, including in international waters. Countries need to have full confidence that their infrastructure will not be destroyed by third parties. Some European countries have recently expressed concern over the safety of their offshore infrastructure. For all of these reasons, the investigation by the UN Security Council of the Nord Stream explosions is a high global priority. The destruction of the Nord Stream pipelines required a very high degree of planning, expertise, and technological capacity. The Nord Stream 2 pipelines are a marvel of engineering. Each section of pipe is rolled steel of over 4 cm thickness and with a pipeline internal diameter of 1.15 m. The pipe is encased in concrete of 10.9 cm thickness. The weight of each section of concrete encased pipe is 24 metric tons. The Nord Stream pipelines contain around 200,000 pipes. The pipelines sit on the sea floor. Destroying a pipeline of heavy rolled steel, encased in concrete, at the depth of 70 to 90 meters, requires highly advanced technologies for transportation of the explosives, diving to install the explosives, and detonation. To do so undetected, in the exclusive economic zones of Denmark and Sweden, adds greatly to the complexity of the operation. As a number of senior officials have confirmed, an action of this sort must have been carried out by a state-level actor. Only a handful of state-level actors have both the technical capacity and access to the Baltic Sea to have carried out this action. A recent report by the Washington Post revealed that the intelligence agencies of the NATO countries have privately concluded that there is no evidence whatsoever that Russia carried out this action. This also comports with the fact that Russia had no obvious motive to carry out this act of terrorism on its own critical infrastructure. Indeed, Russia is likely to bear considerable expenses to repair the pipelines. Three countries have reportedly carried out investigations of the Nord Stream terrorism, Denmark, Germany, and Sweden. These countries presumably know much about the circumstances of the terrorist attack. Sweden, in particular, which its divers investigated the crime scene. Yet Sweden has kept the results of its investigation secret from the rest of the world. Sweden has refused to share its findings with Russia and turned down a joint investigation with Denmark and Germany. In the interest of global peace, the UN Security Council should require these countries to immediately turn over the results of their investigations to the UN Security Council. There is only one detailed account to date of the Nord Stream destruction, the one recently put forward by investigative journalist Seymour Hirsch, ostensibly based on information leaked to Hirsch by an unnamed source. Hirsch attributes the Nord Stream destruction to a decision ordered by US President Joe Biden and carried out by US agents in a covert operation that Hirsch describes in detail. The White House has described Hirsch's account as completely and utterly false, but did not offer any information contradicting Hirsch's account and did not offer any alternative explanation. Senior U.S. officials made statements before and after the Nord Stream destruction that showed the U.S. animus towards the pipelines. In January 2022, 
Under Secretary of State Victoria Newland tweeted, If Russia invades Ukraine, one way or another, Nord Stream 2 will not move forward. On February 7, President Biden said, If Russia invades again, then there will be longer Nord Stream 2. We will bring an end to it. When asked by the reporter how he would do that, he responded, I promise you we will be able to do it. On September 30, 2022, immediately following the terrorist attack on the pipeline, Secretary of State Antony Blinken declared that the destruction of the pipeline is also a tremendous opportunity. It's a tremendous opportunity to once and for all remove the dependence on Russian energy. In January 2023, Under Secretary Newland declared to Senator Ted Cruz, I am, and I think the administration is, very gratified to know that Nord Stream 2 is now, as you like to say, a hunk of metal at the bottom of the sea. Such language is not at all appropriate in the face of international terrorism. I hope that the US together with all other Security Council members will condemn this heinous act of international terrorism, and join together in an urgent UNSC-led investigation of this international crime in order to determine the truth. The truth is not yet known by the world, but it is knowable. More than ever, the world depends on the UN Security Council to do its work to stop the war. The world will be safe only when the permanent members work together diplomatically to solve global crises. The UN Security Council provides the unique global venue for that peace-affirming work. More than ever, we need a healthy, functioning UN Security Council to carry out the mission assigned to it by the UN Charter. A UN Security Council's objective investigation of the Nord Stream terrorism, in which all countries contribute what they know, is important for global confidence in this body and most importantly, for global peace and sustainable development. The author is university professor at Columbia University. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media. Download the BG Media app today or visit barglobal.net for more podcasts.